Hey everyone, welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband with the Nova Aetas mod. And right now we're actually in our tailory here in Beluca. I've been spending uh, quite some time uh, picking up resources and all kinds of other things in between episodes. But now I just want to show you, um, well, what it looks like when you actually invest in your... Um, well, in in your enterprise. Now, I don't know if I've shown you the tail already. I think I have. I've just not actually crafted anything here. I did show you uh, the crafting with the carpentry and my uh, ironworks, but I did not show you anything here. We will do that, just not at this moment. But yeah, I will actually be spending some money to improve these people here. So first of all, I want to uh, hire some more workers. Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Let's let's do that again. Yeah, we want to have um, as many as possible. Five, I believe. So let's uh, let's hire one more. Yes. So that's that should be it. I don't think I can uh, I can hire any more. Yeah. Okay. Good. So and now I want to invest in this enterprise. We're gonna increase the overall efficiency. Yes. Um, we are gonna do that a couple times. Um, let's actually quickly see. So yeah, efficiency level is three. So we can do that two more times. Right now we're making much more money. I don't know where this loss is coming from, but yeah, we'll uh, try and get rid of that. Uh, invest in this enterprise. Yes, once more, once more. Purchase better machinery. Uh, burglary protection, less failures. I think that's good. Um, I think less waste is also good. Daily program for time efficiency. And yeah, I think that's good. We're still losing quite a lot. I guess maybe a fire thing would be good. Mm, a fire protection would be quite useful. Is that okay? Still have that loss. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it at this for now, but we're going to be making a little bit more money than we used to. Because this was actually uh, running a deficit for several weeks, but I couldn't really do anything about it. So that's okay, we're going to leave here. And let's have a quick look at our party. Okay, so as you can see, I picked up a couple of troops, uh, mostly Serenite because that's uh, people from the Holy Land. And I also found a couple of Geronian gods. Very good. I mean, they're basically my elite god. And uh, as you can see, I also picked up a couple of cannoneers. That is because I just decided I want to build a cannon. That was very expensive. The cannon cost 10,000. But, uh, you know, I thought it was worth it. And I also got some cannonballs. So in a battle, we might want to wanna try them out and see how they go. But for now, I actually want to talk to Quinius as he has leveled up. And I want to see what we can give him. I think I want to give him a little bit more intelligence, engineering capabilities, as well as tactics. Yeah, that's what he's best at. And we'll just improve his one-handed. Okay. Now, you will see that my health is not very high. And that is because I have been three times in a row attacked by people, um, yeah, basically bandits or Qatar extremists. That was really annoying because the Qatars uh, destroyed me. I was able to deal with the bandits, but yeah, that's obviously not too perfect. So yeah, uh, we've improved our thing here in Veluca, and now we have another quest by the Lady Arena. We've been quoting her for a long time, um, but yeah, so this time she wants us to go after Margrave Philly. And we'll have to do that. He's luckily part of the Merchant Republic of Zenda, so we should find him over here somewhere. Now, also you'll notice, uh, once we actually get going, you'll notice that there's 10 people, 10 colonists following us. Because I've been asking in one of our villages um, about how the people are feeling, and um, they didn't really like living there at, at that much. And 10 of them, I could, uh, well, uh, 10 of them I could actually, um, oh, what's the word? persuade, I guess, convince, to follow me to the new world. And they've been following me around the entire time. It's a little bit annoying because sometimes they uh, they meet you and then they, uh, they you stop, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, okay. Uh, I'm actually going to go and ask this guy, uh, yes, uh, where we can find... I wish to ask you something, I want to know the location of Margrave Philly. He should be here somewhere. Oh wow, they have so many... They have a lot of people, a lot of vassals. Margrave Feely, there you go. Should be close to Kuloia. Kuloia. Where is Kuloia? Oh, that's over there. Okay, that's not too far away. That's pretty good. All right, so we're going to make our way over there, and we'll uh, duel him. And, uh, yeah, then we will hopefully improve relations with the Lady Arena, because I definitely want to marry. 
I definitely want to marry soon. Okay, we gain influence points, which we can, which we can actually spend on other vassals. I have not done that yet. There's so many things we need to do. But yeah, finally we're making some more profit from the tailor we had, Beluka. That's very good. Our blacksmith is not doing too fine. But that is actually because I picked up some resources from our farm. Our farm is picked dry. Uh, and I did not even have enough uh, seeds to... Um, to plant plant a new uh, a new field, but that's just the way it is. We're gonna have to deal with it at some point. But yeah, I, I took up uh, well, I took all the flour I could get, and uh, I also picked up the blacksmith tools that we had in store. So yeah, that's okay. And our carpentry, I have not uh, invested in that either. So we will have to do that as well. Um, other than that, we're getting some rents in residencies. A little bit lost due to tax inefficiency. That's okay. And our colony import lines. So I'm not sure why it's 1,500, because we have four lines of 500, but maybe we had enough food and it didn't import anything? That's, that could be it, I guess. Not too sure, but yeah. Anyway, so we're still making a little bit of profit, that's very good. Um, our, yeah, we're losing a little bit of morale, that's not, that's really not too important. Um, I just really want to find this Margrave Philly. That's all I care about. He was over here, it said. Is that him? That he is Philly. Okay, so we're gonna to talk to him, we're gonna duel him, and hopefully we're gonna win, obviously. I, I should mention, I don't have, I'm not at full strength, obviously, but yeah. Um, well, I'm not one for bandying words. He does not like me already. Relinquish your suit of the Lady Arena. Now, she actually begged us to stop this guy, so we will definitely do that. Yes. Um, do you feel to fight me? Oh, you know what? Ah, damn. Yeah, this is probably not good, because... Now we're gonna have bad relations with, uh, with the uh, town again. So we're gonna try and. Oh, oh shit! I lost. Oh my god! I lost a duel. So what's what's this gonna, what's that gonna mean? You like stand for several minutes and stagger to your feet. Ah, uh, I gain honor. Interesting enough. Get up! Let all those present today witness that I have defeated you, and you are now bound to relinquish. Oh. I will permit you one final visit to make your farewells. After that, you will, if you persist in attempting to see her, everyone shall know that you are a man of scant honor. Ah, uh, well, that sucks. She does. She doesn't even like that guy. Ah, oh, man, I failed. Well, what can I do? Not much now. Oh my God, these colonists. They, do you see that? They keep. They keep stopping me. What the fuck? Piss off. That's very annoying. I, I need to get rid of them as quickly as possible because they're incredibly frustrating if they continue to walk behind me. But yeah, uh, we're just going to have to visit the lady and see what she says. I mean, here's the thing. If everyone knows I have no honor, I don't really care. If I have a lady that I like, then that's that's fine. I can get my honor back. So that's it's not, you know, like that. But yeah, let's see what she says. I heard of your duel with Margaret Philly. I wish now that you had never fought him. Yeah, of course. For our honor and tradition demand that having lost to him, you now have to break off our suit. Okay, we must do that. Let, um, farewell, my lady. Let honor and tradition hang. I lose honor. People will talk. It would so break my heart to no longer be able to see you. We shall ignore this silly, cruel tradition. Okay, so she's willing to, to, uh, break with tradition. That's fine. Let's have a quick look at our character here. We have negative five honor. That's not too bad. We have tons of influence. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at our prestige as well. So yeah, that's good. Uh, what's our class? We are Margrave. Okay. We are trusted well, my lord. You're in charge of a march now. Province that at the borders of the kingdom. That's actually true. Because of this, a Margrave is trusted to defend and fortify against potentially hostile neighbors and thus more important and ranked higher than a county uh, or count. You and your family are in high esteem now. Okay. Required prestige is 6,000 for the next class. All right. Well, um, okay. Yeah. I have not really been attending any tournaments. What I do want to do, though, is quickly um, manage my property here. Do I? I have a labor house here. Okay. Um, any goods we can pick up, particularly? Probably not. Yeah, so yeah, basically I got some new shoes. That was the gear I got. I have the cannon here and the cannonballs, and yeah, these shoes 
I want to give to someone else. And the tools I picked up, the water and the flower, and one, one seed, actually. I kind of need that still. And yeah, I think I wanted to give the boots to uh, Serafina, but I haven't found her yet. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, and she's not here either. So there, these cannoneers over there we actually picked up, but they seem to be here relatively frequently. Alright, so nothing here. Let's just leave. I think we're just going to go ahead and setting... We're going to set sail. Yes. So for some reason we're now a ship. No, we were a ship. Uh, not anymore. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to sail back to our home. And we'll uh, see what the management of the town says. And if it has been gotten better at, at, at all. And then we'll actually go back to our colony. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in a second. Alright guys, so um, we're back in the holy city of Hiroshima, and uh, yeah, things are looking a little bit better, I have to admit. Things are looking better because, um, as you can see, our growth is no longer at minus 10, but it's at a good zero, and our religious uniformity has actually increased by 2%, so that's very nice. So apparently, uh, we have now... Uh, we reduced the tax level, so that helped with 1%. That's not really too good, but still, that's all right. Um, and then, uh, the squalor is not as bad as it used to be. It was negative 3, but now it's just negative 1. And apparently, farms and taverns are helping out quite a bit. The thing is, I did not build them. So, I'm not really sure who did this. I think I remember... I, I remember that I read that the bourgeoisie might actually build buildings but i'm not too certain I, I, this is my guess here but i don't really know if that's true um anyway though uh we have obviously uh yeah the power that is changing slowly but surely but what i do want to show you is here the construction because it's only one day until uh the quarry is going to be done and the fairground so that would actually make a lot more money for our towns and then obviously the irrigation would be useful as well now i do actually intend on building a chapel but that's 45,000 florins that's the money we don't have at the moment so we're just gonna have to wait now what i want to show you though is actually we're gonna have to wait here just a little bit uh so that it's daytime again actually let's uh you know what, let's wait a little bit more, just so we have morning, and I want to walk around the streets, because I want to show you guys um, what it is like when I try and pick up these colonists, because I've done that off camera last time. So let's actually go to the Christian district here, obviously. Um, ooh, you know what, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. I, you know what, let me, let me quickly get a quick save, actually. Let me get a quick save, because I don't want it to crash here. It, it, sometimes when you enter these scenes, it crashes, so you need to be careful, obviously. So, yeah, let's uh, walk around the streets. Let's go to the Christian district and hope that everything goes well. I've only had a crash once, really, so I, I don't think it's really going to happen uh, now, but it, it might. Don't know. It's definitely taken a long time, but okay. We're in here. All right, anyway, so we've made it. Good. And we have, uh, yeah, these, these these people look very Christian. Yeah, I've never seen anyone look more Christian than these guys. But yeah, uh, we have a weaponsmith here, interestingly enough. Okay, um, well, I, I'm not really interested in that. I I guess I'm going to talk to this fellow here and see um, how you're doing, townsmen. So, um, what can you tell me about this town? This is the town of Hiroshima. Our town and surrounding lands belong to us. And you produce bread, leather work, tools, wool cloth, pottery, and oil. Um, okay, uh, what else can you tell me? How's the life here? Times are hard, we work hard all day, and yet we go to sleep hungry most nights. So this is kind of interesting. And then I was actually able to... Hmm, well, maybe not this guy, maybe the lady. I was, I was able to ask her if she wants to come to the new world, but maybe I can only pick up one colonist at a time. That's possible. Uh, how's life here? Yes. What is your trade? Uh, latest rumor. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna ask this guy. How's your life here? Alright, so apparently that's not possible. Apparently I cannot ask anyone else. Alright, fine. Um, Alright, in that case we're just not, we're not gonna do this. I wanted to look around and see if we can find some more colonists, but yeah, apparently that's not the case. Let's just go over to one of our villages here and see what we can do. Okay, some wars are going on, that's that's fine. Let's uh, speak with the village elder here um, and see if we can manage some citizens. Oh, look at this. 
I grew of 10 villages and you have 8,000 florins. Can I appoint anyone? Nope. I've already done that. Okay, great. This is basically the best village we have. Uh, let me actually quickly see this. Very poor and desolate, yeah. Although the prosperity will increase with time, especially if we are at peace. So that's that's going to be quite useful. Um, speak here to the village elder. I think we did not start any building here, I don't think. Um, you have 3,000 florins. Can I assign anyone? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, I guess then I will show you with my third village, because that's actually where I got these uh, these people from. And I will show you, and perhaps we can actually continue some buildings here. So let's go to the village center, and we'll uh, ride around a little bit, and hopefully we can get a new batch of colonists as well. Now, I want to actually go over to this building you can see right there, which is not fully built yet. And that is going to be the messenger tower, as far as I'm aware, and yeah. Uh, how is life here? Mm, yes. Can you tell me about this village? Okay, so no one seems to be able to want to become a colonist. Okay, so I guess you can only have one colonist group at a time. That's that's reasonable. Okay, so I guess uh, we're just gonna quickly check out if we can add any more things here. Um, carry some resources. Okay, so we've already done that. All right, so that means we're gonna ha have to head over to the new world now. And then I can, uh, well, dump the col colonists there. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do, what kind of new options we have. So yeah, I'm going to leave here and I'll see you guys uh, as soon as we're in, uh, well, in Terra Nova. All right, guys. So we are almost, um, we've almost made it all the way to Terra Nova. And I do want to mention that before I left last time, I actually made sure that I would also, you know, uh, Oh my god. I also made sure that I would actually uh, convert the natives. So I've done that as well. I spent a little bit of food on doing that, but we were doing fine. So I hope that everything is fine now as well. I can disembark here, but no, you know what? I think I rather want to use the beach, honestly. It just seems a little bit better, to be quite honest. It, we're just going to land here. So yeah, um, we have our Jeronian guard here, five out of five. So apparently no one has attacked us. In that case, I will add a couple more people to the garrison. I will probably just put the Serenites here. Mm, yeah, like this archer. Well, I guess I'm going to put a little bit more Geronian Guard here. 12, I think, yeah, that's fine. And we will populate our colony now. So, yeah, you can populate your settlement by asking town walkers in towns. Um, guide colonists to their new homes, yes. Perhaps they are willing to move and become colonists. Yeah, so we have them with us, and we'll do that right now. You need to build more houses. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Oh, right. So I guess what we're going to have to do is visit our colony. Now, as I said, um, what I was doing here, I was um, also teaching, converting the natives to our religion. So I, the only thing I have not done yet is institute the laws of the crown, because I don't, yeah, I don't know. And I did not use the natives as slaves because that's obviously not too nice. Um, now, I did also read the comprehensive guide and I know a little bit about building buildings, but I didn't know that I had to build them now, but it does make sense. So yeah, uh, what we need to do is we're going to have to visit our colony and yeah, well, now we basically, I think we have to press B and now we can build stuff. Yeah, right. So we could build... Primitive dwelling, but enough to survive winter. Work rate, uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to basically build this. A thatched shack. Okay. And you've started constructing your own colony. Move buildings with the arrow keys. Change height with page up and down keys. Yeah, right, right, okay. Um, so, basically, we're just gonna move that a little bit. Alright, so this is gonna be the first building. Okay, now I'm not entirely sure what the perimeters are of this. Um, where exactly we're gonna... But I guess, you know what, I think I'm just gonna put this here for now. I think enter will do the job. Okay, so this has been successful. Okay, so apparently here is, was an invisible wall for a second. Okay, that's kind of interesting, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we can walk here now. So this is 
the first kind of house that we have. And I wonder if I can... Uh, damn, what was... What do I need to do now? Build again? You can also kind of... Oh yeah, there, there's... Ah, that's what I wanted to see. So this is what we have uh, left over. This is going to give plus five max population. So we're going to build a second one. Um, and then... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's build Let's build this one for now. Uh, then able text, delete, destroy, select building, backspace. Uh, you can also kind of save the building, but I'm not sure what you... I'm not sure what that does, and I'm not sure how to do that anymore. But that's okay. So, yeah. We have you kind of here, I guess. Yeah, I think that's, that's fine for now. Um... Okay, set, thatched, shack, selected. How do I, oh, uh, not sure how I, what I just did, but yeah, let's just build a new one. So we have, I guess we can go for one more. Um, and we're just gonna build that here, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna have three houses right next to each other. That's, that's fine, I think. All right, perfect. So that will be enough space for 15 people. So we're gonna populate our colony, guide our colonists to their new homes. And yeah, so we now have 10 colonists, perfect. And the work rate is at 80, we have four trade lines. And I do wanna view the stock. So we have eight timber, seven stone and no tools. But I, yeah, we have a lot of food as well. So um, add all units of tools, so we have five tools. And import materials, we already have that. So yeah, um, that's kind of cool. Anything else? Increase production, now we've done that. I guess I could just institute the laws of the crown. Sure, why not? Uh, because then they will be more productive. Although I don't think that they're actually working on anything right now. All right, so yeah, let's visit the colony once again because now we should actually have people walking around here, shouldn't we? Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet, I think. Let's see what else we can build, actually. Uh, let's see what else we can... So we have a, a well. Uh, this is going to give extra work rate. Um, movability, plus 10 work rate. A tree. Decoration, plus 3% work rate. A fence. A colonist spawn point. This place, this spawn point to spawn some colonists. Limited by... 10 spawn points, minimal 3 needed. Okay, a wooden wall that will protect us, protect your early settlement by building a wooden wall. Oh, that might actually be useful. A wooden bastion. Extra protection is gained by building a bastion at each corner. A wooden gate. Oh yeah, we kinda need to do that. I don't think we have enough timber though. Hmm. All right, all right. I feel like a well would be useful though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it, it just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, that's going to get rid of all of the tools and a lot of stone. But I feel like it, it, it simply makes sense. So yeah, I think this is the right key. Did I just press the right key? Oh, nope, this way. There you go, come on. You can do it. And, oh, yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. Having a well here. Uh, yeah, that just makes sense. I mean, we, we kind of need fresh water, don't we? So, yeah. Let's have, it, let's have it here. Although we have, I guess we have access there. Ah, uh, never mind. It, it kind of makes sense to have a well, doesn't it? Um, cool. So, anything else we can build? We have six timber, three stones, one tool. So, a fence would be cool. Prevent quarrels about private land. A colonist spawn point would obviously be kind of cool because that would then uh, create colonists, I guess. So we'll have one here. I'm not entirely sure how that works. We'll just build them here. Um, oh, damn. That was, that was not what I wanted to do. Apparently they don't cost anything. So that's good. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Yes. Where... Uh... Where is it now? I can't see where it is, to be quite honest. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, so we have two spawn points. Maybe I should have another one there. Not sure how that works. It kind of it said when I read the guide that we kind of have to loop it or something. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we're just gonna have it like this, and we're gonna visit the colony once again and see what happens. Okay, so this is where they come from. Oh, I, I see. Okay, okay. Let's talk to you. Good day, my lord. And that's it. Okay, now he's walking in there. Okay. Ah, now I get it. Okay, okay. I think I, I think I got it. So basically, um, we would have to build another one. And that one would have to be placed over there somewhere. Just so that he does not keep walking into the walls, I guess. That makes... I think that makes sense. Let me quickly check if this works. Mm -hmm. So they can kind of walk in, in, in this. All right. Yeah. So we'll place it like this. And maybe now we're not as retarded. Is that possible? Yes. Nope. They still, they still want to walk there. Okay. Well, this guy managed to uh, do it. Hmm. All right. Well, whatever. Well, no, no, they're moving. Okay. I, I think they will get it at some point. All right. Perfect. Well, I, I, I think that's not too important. Uh, but what is important? Oh, I keep clicking the wrong thing. I do apologize. Um, what is important though is I think a wooden gate, but that requires tools we don't have anymore. So there's nothing I can do. Nothing more I can build. So I think we're just going to leave that for now. We have some population. We have some extra garrison. And I think we're just going to make our way over to get some more stuff. It's very expensive to get this colony up and running. But I do hope that the spices will be worth a lot later on. But obviously, I don't know for sure. Okay. So I think, guys, that uh, I basically show, I've basically shown you everything uh really that uh, is that this mod offers so far obviously except for the cannons and by the way uh, look at this the aztecs are now hostile towards us this is something i totally missed when i uh, founded the colony but we actually lost relations with the aztecs so it could very well be that they attack us although i don't think that they will actually do that i wonder if we maybe want to spend some more time in the jungle here I'm not sure if that's really a good idea, but I, I suppose. I guess what I should do is explore some more of these islands. Actually, you know what? I might want to do that right now. Let's go to our colony, sail away, set sail. And uh, finally, we don't have these people following us anymore. Oh, wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of arrows there. Uh, but that, that happens sometimes. So, yeah, let's go a little bit faster. Okay, and there's some more Aztecian cities. Now... I might just want to raid them. I've not actually raided any villages so far, but I might want to do that as Estes. I might want to do that because we kind of need money. I mean, so far it's still going okay. We kind of need money. As I was saying though, um, I've, I've, I've shown you a lot of things, uh, except for ooh, this jungle. I think we're going to try that jungle out as well, uh, except for obviously the artillery cannons. That I have not shown yet. Um, actually, can I make my way here? Fioro. Okay. Can I can I land here? Yes. Okay. So I could I could go ahead and claim this as well, but I don't think I will be doing that right now. I think I just want to check out the jungle and maybe we can get some extra treasures because that would actually be quite nice. Um, but yeah, as I said though, I. I've shown a lot, except for the artillery, yet. Oh, there's a tribal town. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay, that's, that, that's something we're going to have to check out. That's something we're definitely going to have to check out, because we did see the jungle. But we have not yet seen the tribal town, so let's see what they have to say. Um, with extremely hostile tribesmen. They don't make mockery of the warnings. If you don't want exposed to find your head on a stake, don't enter this obscure jungle. Uh, okay. But honestly, you know, I'm going to save here, just that we don't lose anything. And, well, for example, I didn't want to crash, actually. Uh, but yeah, um, okay, let's just explore this. Come on, come on, we can do it. We can do it. We've mastered the other jungle. All right. So, this seems to be different, though. Okay, we still have our pistol with us. 
and we're not even at full strength. Okay, first of all, we're caught. Oh, and there are spikes. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, there's spikes everywhere, so we need to be careful. If we can find some more treasures, that would be obviously quite nice. So far, not too sure about this. Hmm. All right. Now, it doesn't really seem all that different from the first thing that we have met, except that, well, we have not found anything yet. I mean, in the in the last one, we had a dude who attacked us immediately. I really don't know where to go. Usually, it's good to get a good well, get get up somewhere high so we have a good overview. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure. There's these green bush bushes sometimes, these green trees. Not really sure what they are. If they're anything special, probably not. Okay, can't really find anything here. Oh, though over there is something. That seems like something important, doesn't it? Was that where I came from? I actually, I think I've already, I already don't know where I am anymore. But yeah, this seems like a cage, several cages. And there is like a like a thing. Okay, you can walk through this. Oh, I, I just heard somebody. But I don't know where he is. Someone just screamed at me. Must have been over here? Now this is where I spawned. So it was right next to me. But I haven't found any chests yet. Hmm. Well. Oh, there is somebody. Okay, I see. But still. Okay, hello? I hope that was you screaming. These guys are just ridiculous. Hmm. Alright, so we've been walking through these jungles, but we can't really find anything. Huh. Okay, so just as I was thinking to, uh, you know, maybe cut away and show you uh, this a little bit later, I found the tribal village. I think that's, that's pretty much it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that does look very different from the thing that we have discovered before. Oh, wow. And there are many people, many mad people. This guy actually has a shield. Alright, let's take care of this guy first. Alright, well, as long as they are stuck there, I'm gonna take a good aim. Oh wow, he took two blows. This guy is a pretty, uh, pretty decent fighter. Alright, more people are coming. Luckily, I have a good rapier here. Okay, this guy is dead. Let me quickly reload my my pistol, though. Okay. Hmm. That was all of them, I, I believe. Anything we can get in here? Alright. Uh, raise ladder. wonder what that does, but I will do it. Just because I want to see what happens. It does take quite a long time. Interestingly enough, and nothing happened. All right, cool. Yeah, we're not gonna do that again. Um, that was a waste of time. Uh, what's in here? Anything? No. This is just where the people sleep. Okay. That's funny, but yeah. I mean, where's the chest? Where are your riches? That's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. All right. I shoot you in the back as well. I might actually. Oh, ooh, there are more of them. Oh wow, a lot more. They're the ones that are hostile. I would have just I would have just explored here on my own. Oh wow, look at this. Oh no, he just took oh no, he he only dealt seven damage. The rest I already took before. But yeah, um let's quickly take out this guy as well. Yes. Bye bye. Oh my god, this this pistol is just amazing. It's so much fun killing people with this. But yeah, um, I don't seem to be able to find anything of wealth. That's kind of annoying and really disappointing as well. Did I just go in here to kill everyone? Man. I can raise ladders, but that doesn't do anything. At least it didn't in the beginning. Oh, there's a chest. Yes, that's what I wanted. 
Okay, a gold necklace, perfect. And a ruby and a sapphire, fine. That is what I was, that was why I'm here. That was exactly why I came. All right, guys, well, I uh, I think I'm only exploring this a little bit more, but you basically saw what this is all about. Uh, it is quite different from the uh, jungle that we discovered first, but yeah, uh, that's sweet. And it, be, by, look at this. There's one guy just strolling around. He doesn't even notice me. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, now, I will probably take a longer break. And with that, I mean in-game time uh, between the next episode because we need to get, we need to make money. We need to get our resources. We need to fix that town, our villages, and all these kind of things. So once all of that, uh, you know, has just been improved by quite a bit, I will be coming back and yeah, I'll show you in the new episode. So once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.